Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 352. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And welcome to the MBS show. I, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> uh, so anywho, um, welcome to the show. I hope you enjoy what we're going to do. And I'm recording this at a really late hour in the day. Um, I was busy earlier today, had to bring friends around, brought them for foods and whatnot, and also the talking to peoples and whatnot. Yeah, so I've uh, been a bit busy today, and I have been, I won't say neglecting the show, but let's just say that I'm recording at 3 a.m., and I'm a bit tired. Usually, this is when I go to bed. But still, I'm doing this for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So, let's hop on into the news. So, first news is concept for the full main cast and uh, complete Twilight reveal from Kotobukiya. A while back, we mentioned about this Bishoujo figures from Kotobukiya. Those Japanese figures that really look really, really great. It seems that a full cast of them has been revealed. Uh, previously, we only had Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy and also Twilight. Now we have Applejack, Rarity and T Rainbow Dash. Yes, So we have the full main six here. And as expected, the pony figures that are coming along with them are going to be from the movie version. So if we scroll down and see a full picture of the figure, we can see that the Kotobukiya figures are looking great. Like, these are worth the money. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be around 100 US dollars. And if you're in Singapore, probably it will be around 180 to 190 plus dollars for you guys. Um, other than that, uh, it seems that Twilight Sparkle complete version pre-order begins on February 14, which is on Valentine's Day. So yay, pre-order to get your Twilights. Uh, in all honesty, as much as I love these figures, I'm gonna skip on them because they cost too much money. Because for $100, you can get a lot of things, especially with Devil May Cry 5 coming out next month. I'm going to save cash to play that. <laughs> That's personally for me. If you guys are hardcore enough to buy all six of them, awesome on you. And yeah, um, I'm going to linger on this for a bit because this looks really nice. Like, the figure itself is worth the money. And I'm not denying anyone and I'm not saying that you should not get it. I'm saying that if you do have the cash, go get it. Because this is awesome. How do I do it? Yeah, this is awesome. Yay! <laughs> I am not good with cameras. So let's move on to the next news. And next news is Toys R Us making a comeback in the US. Yay! Awesome on them, awesome on them. So a while back, we reported that Toys R Us declared a Chapter 3 or Chapter 4 bankruptcy, meaning that they are out of the game, like they do not have any cash to support their business. Um, if I'm not mistaken, a while back, a company bought the brand and are trying to revive it in some shape or form. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they were going with the name uh, Jeffrey or Coffrey or something like that. Uh, Toy Box or Toy Barn, something like that. And now it seems that they're going to go back to their roots, which is Toys R Us, and trying to make a proper toy store which is fun and great and awesome I'm not 100% sure if this is the right move for them or not probably it is because toy stores over here could be or probably is different from what you guys have there um, honestly the toy store that I have over here we don't supply any games uh, if I'm not mistaken you guys do have games at Toys R Us, right? If I'm not mistaken. But anywho, um, it's awesome to see an old friend coming back again and Toys R Us is really legendary. It's 
been a part of um, toy history for kids growing up and buying toys and whatnot. And in all honesty, over here in Southeast Asia, we still have our Toys R Us because they're not part of the American company or I was I mean, how to put this. I think the Southeast Asian brand bought the rights to the name so they can keep it and it's a separate entity from the US and the West, let's just say. So Toys R Us is still alive here in Asia and it'll be awesome if you guys would have Toys R Us back again. Uh, probably supported by Toys, who knows? Mm. And Hasbro will be happy to have Toys R Us back because it's another revenue for them to sell toys. Oh, talking about toys, I have recently went to a Toys R Us and I saw that they have uh, the Overwatch Nerf guns and oh my god, like the Reaper uh, dual shotgun things is amazing. Like there's a set where you can get two of the Reaper shotguns and his mask. And that's cool. That, that is really cool. But the price list for it was around 600 Malaysian Ringgit. Um, the exchange rate for you guys is oh, what? One American dollar is times four. So 600 is divided by six. Um, I'm not good at math, so you have to do it on your own. Sorry about that. But still, uh, toy stores are fun. Fun to look around, fun to get pony toys and whatnot. And sometimes they have exclusives. Like I remember way back in the day, Toys R Us had the exclusive Zakura brushables. It glows in the it glows in the dark too, so that is a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, if Toys R Us comes back, hope they have some exclusive toys. Maybe not ponies, maybe some other things that you guys could enjoy. So moving on to the last news of the week, My Little Pony movie announced, yay! And it's planned for a release in two thousand twenty-one. So this is going to be. Interesting. So, uh, the New York Toy Fair is underway, and it's really interesting. I haven't seen any uh, news about it so far, except for the Transformer and Ghostbuster crossover, where the Ecto One transforms into a robot. This is cool, but it also seems that Hasbro has announced that um, some of their license are going to be made into movies. So, yay! Uh, let's see what they are. Uh, you're gonna have G.I. Joe in 2020. Um, more, more, what is that? More Monstros? That's gonna be in 2020. Dungeons and Dragons, uh, 2021. And My Little Pony in 2021. So, uh, let's see. It says that it'll be a 3D CG animated movie, and as of yet, it's unknown if the movie will be 3G, uh, G4 or G5. This is interesting. Um, the pony logo here is using the current colors for the brand, but the movie is in 3D. I, I, I don't know. Um, one of the few reasons why they're moving to 3D is because it's quote unquote easy to animate. Once you create a model, it's there and it's uh, easily posable and whatnot. It's it's easy to play around with it because uh, how do I put this? Think of 3D as um, having a puppet and you can move it around, so you don't really need to redraw it multiple times. What you need to do is just key in some action and logics and whatever it is and it'll do what is uh, yeah, scripts um, just key some scripts and it will perform the actions that it was programmed to do so 3D does save a bit of money in quote unquote animation because once you create a model the model is there to stay um, the expensive part is comes to editing and so on so I'm not 100% sure how viable 3D is until I see it or until I see an example of it. 
and if it's going to be in three sorry <laughs> uh g4 or g5 um if i'm not mistaken we are going to get season nine around this year probably and a movie for this that's what they mentioned in the quote-unquote leaks that recently came out or i could be mistaken and they're just gonna scrap that one away and do the 3d one for this one in honesty i'm i i don't know like i've seen a bit of 3d in my life like miracle city bug is in 3d that looks good but i was introduced to that show in 3d first with ponies i was introduced to it in 2d and i, I don't know the jump to 3d yo that's gonna be bad i think but who knows it might look good like probably the lego movie Sip. who knows it might look good and it's not that hasbro hasn't worked with 3d before like what the equestria girls um what's this the equestria girls mini that short that they do is in 3d i'm not 100 percent sure if it's good or not i haven't seen it <laughs> So, that's an example of something they did before. So, in all honesty, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. I, for one, am meh to the whole idea. But we'll just have to see. Who knows if it's great or not. But on the, on the talk about movies, there's one movie that I really want to see from Hasbro, and that's Magic the Gathering movie. And in all honesty, the Magic the Gathering lore is huge, is expense, and you can come up with multiple ideas. Um, the next block that's coming out called uh, Battle for the Spark, that's going to involve a lot of backstory about good versus evil, uh, the Gatewatch, which is um, the main characters are what? Gideon Jura, Liliana Vess, Jace, Bellerin, um, Chandra, and Nisa. You get the five color plane walkers versus uh, Nico Bolas, the evil dragon person. So there's already story there. It's just waiting for a good writer, a good animator, whatever it is. Like you do it in 3D, you do it live action. It's just waiting for you guys to create an awesome movie. But nah, man, we ain't gonna do anything about it. We're gonna do Dungeons and Dragons, yo. And let's just hope that it's a much better movie than the one we got previously. <laughs> and that's the news. So, let's head into the next topic and what have I been doing with my week. And in terms of what have I been doing... um. Technically, nothing much uh, except for bringing friends around town, um, bringing them to good places to eat, a bit of malls to play some games and whatnot. We we do have an arcade here over in Malaysia. Uh, not the greatest, but still, there's air hockey. Air hockey is fun, right? I think. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, we went to a burger place we went to have burgers and it was fun it was fun um went to my local card game shop or my local game shop to well show them around stuff and introduce them to the local scene of how magic is played or D or warhammer and stuff it, it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun and other than that honestly uh my week has been a bit dull i've been doing a bit of cleaning here and there in the house but uh, honestly there's nothing new um played the dmc5 demo again that was a lot of fun and well that's about it really um oh wait uh i think i watched how to train your dragon 3 recently and that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun Probably next movie for me would be Battle Angel Lolita. That's going to be on my list of movies to watch. So who knows? We'll, we'll have fun. We'll, 
I'll put it on the list of things that I want to watch for this year. Hope it's fun. I heard a lot of good things about that anime movie thingy. Yes. But anywho, um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PongiveLife.com. Links are in the show notes. You can also subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Songs, and Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we like to do other shows or comics and whatnot. And surprise, surprise, this week's episode review is going to be an anime. Um... I won't say what the anime is about, so you guys have to stick around and see what we're going to talk about. It's a really fun anime, by the way. Um, It surprised me a lot, and who knows? You might find it enjoyable too. Um, If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted contents and a huge thank you from me and talking about the thank yous i would like to thank amy lucky knight tristan starscream lurker cat jeffrey and also master of leg thank you so much guys for the awesome support you guys are great and in all honesty guys if you could support the show please do so a dollar would really help here and there um Honestly, I don't really like to beg when I do this segment, but uh, some supporters have come and go, and I am appreciative of them for supporting as long as they could. And you know what? I I would like to get more supporters. (laughs) Um, Let's just say it's a confident level for me. Like It would be awesome if you guys could do so. And if not, I really appreciate if you just spread the word around. It will mean really a lot to me. But anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo and... Oh wait, probably you guys were wondering why I'm wearing the hat. I don't know, I'm just probably trying something new. Because if you take a look, see... Oh no, I'm bald! <laughs> so anywho, I'll catch you guys next week. See ya!